What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rock and Rivera himself. Giving you an update on this Nova, and then later I'm gonna post the other video montage of the 74 known as Cherry Bomb. So right now, as you probably hear, we have fluids draining out. Decided to take a video while fluids are draining out because we have an issue. Let me see what I'm showing you. So what's happening is the top hose and the bottom radiator hose down here are sucking shut because of the new water pump that uh, I had to put on a high flow water pump from Flow Cooler from Summit Racing over at RPM Restorations. They did a phenomenal job cleaning up the engine bay. I mean, like, look at this thing. The engine bay is not have wires hanging all over it now anymore. Everything's all cleaned up and tucked nicely, except for the ground. But power steering still works good. The engine block is all cleaned up because the paint was coming off for some reason. They put on a brand new Summit Stage 3 intake, which I like. I like the performance of it. It handles great. And the gasket matched it and everything to the gaskets that I had or the gaskets that were originally gasket matched on the engine because I bought the wrong ones and that's why I was leaking out, leaking oil into the cylinder. Because I bought what I thought were the right gaskets and turns out they weren't and I needed a different intake anyway, so. But the main thing is all that's cleaned up, all that's done. The engine runs good, but the hoses are sucking shut because of the high, high volume flow cooler water pump for small block Chevy. It's so powerful that it can suck your hoses shut and cause not efficient cooling. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these nicer ones on that as you can see inside them, if you look closely, try to get a video of this, my arms away. They have a steel spring core in them. So these things are gonna handle a lot better under pressure because they won't, they won't, like look, I can't even close it. Like those things are strong. I'm pushing with all my might on one hand, and it won't collapse. Those will collapse in one hand. Those will collapse with two fingers, the hoses that are on it. Did I know that I was gonna go back to high flow water pump or high volume water pump? No. Should I probably because the overheating situ situation is still not great? Yes. So if you ever get a high flow water pump or high volume water pump, whichever one it is, know that that can create vacuum bubbles. I learned this out the hard way and create vacuum bubbles that suck your hoses shut. So get a spring for inside your hose or get some sort of way of keeping your hoses open no matter what pressure it is. It's literally sucking the top hose shut when you start the car up and rev it when it's still a little bit cold. Just keep, just keep the idle up. And it was sucking the hoses shut and it was heating it up a little bit faster. So that's not good. Plus we also put a 180 thermostat in it because it seemed like it wasn't acting properly with the 160. So we decided to get a 180 in it. The theory is that you wind up having your radiator fluid or your coolant in the radiator longer because it's idling at 180 degrees instead of switching back and forth between 160. So that's the whole thought of that. That was learning from some racing as well. Big help from them. Big help from RPM restorations down with Ken you guys did a phenomenal job on this. They were able to turn around in less than two days as soon as I got them, as as I got them the parts. So, note, one thing. I will not mention how much he charged me out of respect for him. If you wish to get work done at RPM Restorations, call Bob Thompson and ask him, because he's the owner of the shop, ask him, and he'll most likely give you a decent deal on it because he is willing to work with the community, so. He does his best work with the community. He was able to turn this around in quick time because there was some stuff that was already done in the shop. So it was an opening. There was some stuff done in the shop. So he had an opening. He gave me the opening because he knew I needed help with the Nova. And I'm, a, I'm very appreciative of that. So, but we're gonna replace it to these hoses instead of the stock ones, just so when it has a little bit better cooling flow and does not suck the hoses shut. Cause that is dangerous and uh, still drain coolant. The 74 has come along, it still, does, it still does need the brakes looked at because the brake pedal is on the floor right now. Literally push it to the floor. So thought I'd give you all an update on the projects. And I mentioned in the last video that I was doing a go-kart possibly as the second car, second cart, second vehicle for uh, the Hobbles Legends Tour. That is down the road. 
right now the main focus is get this Nova to the Hot Wheels Legends store. If I tow something behind with it and go cruise around the Hot Wheels Legends store in a go-kart, good for me. If not, oh well. Right now the main focus is get this thing painted as soon as possible. Get the interior finished because the interior still only has three seats in it. And one of them is the back seat, which accounts a pair. So, ba so basically I have two thirds, two thirds the interior, seat wise ready. The black seats are still in here getting redone. But the goal is maybe not this coming year, but the year after that, this car will be painted, the interior will be done, everything mechanical will be finished including the pausing the rear end and the transmission rebuild because it still does not like the one two shift but it's fine if you're cruising on in the automatic it does not like bank shifting like bank or power shifting as you call it an automatic bank shifting is manual power shifting is automatic so i'm gonna get back to it i'll let you all know how it goes later and we'll start up see how it runs with this setup. I also got a bottle of water wetter down in there and some more coolant just in case I can't reuse the coolant that comes out of it. I got some full strength. So, but yeah, so everything's going good. Uh, as some of you probably know, seasonal depression sucks, but I'm getting through it. So I just want to let you all know that I'm doing okay. The car's doing okay. Everything's going along well, and I'm slowly getting parts for the trim which will be put on after the bodywork is done, after the bodywork and paint is done. And that includes a new grill, because this grill is like scuffed, painted, scuffed, painted, scuffed, painted, scuffed, painted, pinstriped, and then scuffed again from going down the road, so. But other than that, I don't have much else to report on. They did, did a phenomenal job at RPM on getting this engine to look good again, like it used to, like the whole car used to, but I'm going to get back to it, and I'll see you all later. Bye.